Hello everyone, this is Ashani from Chinda.com. So today I'm really excited to share with you something wonderful. Do you see this? This is a bag of books. Wonderful books in mathematics. I've not yet seen all the books in this particular box. And there are two more boxes like this. Three boxes in total. This has been donated by a student, an ex-student of Chinta called Venkat. Venkat studied at Chinta for a year or two and then he studied himself. He prepared really hard and then he went on to do really well in this year's Indian Statistical Institute's entrance. And then he said that, okay, I want to donate all the books that I have to Chinta so that other kids can benefit from it. So you see all the books here, I mean a little bit you can see here. All of them are actually donated by students at Chinta, alumni of Chinta. And you know what we do with them? Well, we, some of them we keep with us. We share with the faculty members at Chinta. We have internal training on the basis of the problems in those books. But then there are other books that we share with students from rural India. There are many schools with which Chinta has tie-ups. And we share the books to some of the really well-performing kids in those schools. So, the same thing will be done with these books. Let's see what we have here, okay? So, the first book, as we can all see, is a very beautiful one. Uh, Art of Problem Solving is a very, very big organization out of Boston, I think. And uh, Razjik al Lehoski. this is the book on the basics of mathematical Olympiads, I think. So, uh, this particular book, I have not seen it before, but I have seen other Art of Problem Solving books. They are of very high quality. Personally, they are not my favorite because they look like a bit of a manual type. Um, I like the books which are of Russian flavor a lot more because when you read those books, apart from the problem books, when you read those books, this seem like literature to me. But this is a fantastic book as well. Out of problem solving books have very high quality problems. So I'm sure some students will benefit a lot from it. And let's go to the next one. This is the one on school geometry. This is by Hall and Stevens. This is a classic text. I used to study this book when I was a little kid. Paul and Stevens. Nowadays, we suggest the book by Kisilev, Planimetry by Kisilev by or Sharigan's Geometry. But Paul and Stevens is an all time favorite. It has the essentials of Euclidean geometry, proof writing. I learned proof writing from it. So it's a very beautiful book. The next one, this is not, uh, this is not the, the original copy. This is a printed copy, clearly. Let's see which copy, what, what book this is. So this one is, uh, let's see, it's, it's this way. So, oh, it's one of my favorites. It's Principles and Techniques in Combinatorics. Uh, this is by Shu Xuan Shong and Ko Ki Men. And if you are a student at Chinta in the Math Olympiad program or the ISICMI entrance program, you already know this book. This book is extensively used in our initial combinatorics courses at Chadda. So, we use it a lot and I'm sure that this book will be really useful. Let's go to the next one. This one is a fantastic piece. I'm so glad that Wingpet sent this one. This is 102 Combinatorial Problems by T2 Andrews Q and Fanon. So, uh, T2 Andrews Q, if you have not heard of him, he is one of the greatest uh, Math Olympiad trainers that who exists today. And he wrote a lot of books on mathematical Olympiads, problem solving, non-routine problems. And he has certain books on number theory, geometry, trigonometry, combinatorics, which are just problems. These are called problem books. So this one is one such book. It's 102 combinatorial problems. And these problems, mind you, they are problems, solutions, problems, solutions, just like that. 
So the way to use these prop books is like this, that you start by trying the problem, just start the problem, try it, and then you are stuck. Of course, you will be stuck. These are hard problems. So you look at the first line of the solution. You see how the author is beginning to think. Then you decide to try some more. Okay. So this is how to use these sort of books. And this is really nice. Uh, this one. So now we have certain books by AMTI. So the, the, I see, I think, four or five of them. And I'll just show it to you together. These are all a created by ANTI. ANTI is a fantastic organization. I love them. I respect them. They are a very old organization of mathematics teachers. If I'm not entirely wrong, they are mainly based in southern part of India. When I was a kid, I, have, I did not hear much about ANTI. When I grew up and I started teaching mathematics, I learned about AMTI and the wonderful contest that they conduct. So, uh, they create a lot of books and problem sets and write-ups on mathematics. And all of these books are from AMTI. So, for example, the first one is just the mathematical teacher that is their journal. So, mathematical teacher, this, this particular book, it contains a lot of problems. So, they have problem sets. They sometimes have solutions of all the problems or some selected problems. And then, they also contain past papers from different levels of NMTC. NMTC is the Math Olympiad conducted by AMTI. It is one of the most beautiful contests coming out of India. Okay. So, they, he sent us some of them and then there is a sort of a pamphlet on uh, in, in, with respect to Bhatnagar, uh, P.L. Bhatnagar. So, this is, this is the one, Ramanujan's anniversary and Bhatnagar, right? Fantastic. Okay, and then there is some more mathematics teacher and some more mathematics teacher. Mathematics teacher is, as I say, the journal of ANTI. Okay, so let's look at this one. This one is Lecture Notes on Mathematical Olympiad Courses. This is by, uh, I think, Nijagu. Yes, that's correct. So this book is a very interesting book. Uh, it, it contains certain very, um, certain kind of problems which you would not find in normal Math Olympiad books. Normal Math Olympiad books are uh, it contains uh, sometimes routine uh, routine non-routine problems. Jago's book, however, takes a very different approach. It works on certain portions of problem solving, and then it does this theoretical part. When it starts the chapter, it starts with certain theoretical parts, but that's very short, and then it immediately goes into questions. As you know, this is I, I told this many times that problem solving is the bread and butter of our business, our line of work. It's not that you have to read a lot of theory. Directly jump into problem solving and then if required, come back to the theory. If you can invent the theory while solving the problem, that's even better. Okay, then we have SL Loney's Plane Trigonometry, which is a very classic, very, uh, very, very nice book, actually. Uh, then we have another uh, problem set edited by Shayan Mukherjee. This is Amir Hossein Parvedi. I think this is IMO training camp material. So this is, this is very nice. And then we have a few more like these, these bounded books. So you can imagine how much work Venkat might must have put into his preparation. All these books, and I am not even halfway through the first box of three boxes that he has set. So, uh, I'll just go with one more. This is the is Zuckerman theory of numbers. This is elementary numbers theories, 
second book in some sense because I always recommend the first book to be Burton, Elementary Number Theory. But once you are done with Burton, you should go into Zuckerman. And Zuckerman can be a bit terse. It's a bit complicated at times, but you might be able to handle it if you have a strong foundation. So I am just through half of it and uh, I want to go through the remaining of them with all of you. Uh, it, it is a very joyous moment when students send books and we get to send it to other kids and teach from them and learn from them. It's, this is the greatest gift that a student can give to the teacher apart from their own success, of course. Yeah, You know, if you are doing mathematics with Chinta or if you are part of Chinta's extended community, by this time you already know that, of course, we charge course fees for our programs and we, we, we got to eat, right? <laughs> we got to hire great teachers. But we also have this other, um, other goal that we want to share this knowledge with the rural parts of India, which is very, very disconnected from all of these beautiful mathematics. So we, want to, we are very eager to share it with them. And um, we, we conduct math circles with them. And these donations of books, they help us a lot. And if you think you can also help us in this process, uh, please be a part of the Chinta community. Spread word. Help us build resources. Help us donate books and so on. Okay? I'll share with you what other books Tenkat sent us in the next video. Until that time, keep on doing good mathematics and keep on solving great problems. Take care. Bye.